Now that you've seen how to pre-process and analyze an individual subject, it would be helpful to create a script that automates it for every subject. Previously, we used the fMRI prep single subject script that had a hard-coded subject number. To put this code into a for loop, we will need to include this line of code just below the first line. I'm going to edit this in the VI editor. Right here, you can insert this line of code, subject equals dollar sign one, which is the first input that the user puts in. And then we replace 08 with dollar sign subject. And I'm going to write this file as fMRI prep underscore scripted. You can make the changes yourself, as I just did here, or you can download the script from the link in the box down below. To create our for loop, we will simply combine all of the code we ran in the previous chapters, making sure that they are in the correct order. Assuming you already ran the script maketimings.sh, you should already have a file in your Flinker directory called subject list, which contains a list of all the subjects in your study. The combined code for the for loop will look like this, which you can find on the brain book. Each block of code is discussed in the previous chapters. The only difference is that we now use variables for input where appropriate. You can either copy and paste this code into the terminal while in the Flanker directory, or download this script from the GitHub page in the link down below. Again, making sure to run it from the Flanker directory. This will take a long time to run, maybe a few days, depending on the speed of your computer. So I'm going to fade out now. When the script is finished, do the same quality assurance checks that we covered in the previous chapters, examining each of these HTML files. If everything looks okay, then we are ready to do a group level analysis using the same approach as in the APNE tutorial. And the code for this group analysis will look like this. As explained in the AFNI chapters, this code will run a one sample t-test on the inc minus con beta weights from each subject's stats file. And it will be output in a folder called test.results. If we go into that folder and open up the AFNI viewer, we can overlay the results on the MNI 152-2009 template. I'm going to speed up here and set all of the parameters as I did for the single subject in the previous video. Using the same thresholding, you can see the results for fMRI prep on the left and AFNI on the right. The pattern of the results is very similar and the strength of the effect is slightly stronger in the fMRI prep results than it is in the AFNI results. Now that we have seen how to apply fMRI prep to our data, we can take a closer look at some of the more advanced options, which we will cover in the next video.